Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum And very good day to everyone uh, As most of you know Last time I did share on how to identify The best journal uh, to publish our paper Which is I think uh, Would benefit to graduate student like me uh, Especially masters and PhD student So I hope that video would help for those who need those information so in the previous post i did write something related to the article processing charge uh, where in my experience uh, i managed to waive uh, which uh, to waive the epc which means uh, me and my supervisor and uh, ui times sungai bulu uh, to be specific that we don't have to pay any single cents to publish my paper so uh, before I start my um, explanation on this uh, I would like to say I would like to say sorry because I took a while to record this video because I need to get uh, the correct information to be shared with everyone that needs this information so without further ado let us start on how i managed to get way for my apc so as usual i'm going to show you one by one and hopefully you guys can understand me because um last time i use Malay language in my video uh, there are some of the comments that request me to speak in English I try <laughs> even though my English is not so good but I hope you guys can understand my my um, sharing today so uh, the first step when we want to publish paper of course we have to register uh, in the website or uh, for the paper submission so, as you can see here, this is the editorial manager, manager for the BMC Complementary Medicine and Therapy. So, from here, I'm going to log in. I'm going to show you. Yeah. So, as auto login. Okay. This is very important for those who are maybe first time to to submit your paper. So in here, you are going to see a um, few steps. We have like for the BMC medicine and therapies, we have three steps here for the new submissions, revisions and completed. And as you can see here, this is my paper. Uh, I managed to publish in here in BMC uh, BMC, Medicine, uh, BMC, BMC, uh, BMC Medicine and Therapies So I just want to show you because uh, I thought when I opened this uh, website uh, there, there is an history from the submission until the publication But I think there's none But it's okay, I just want to show so that uh, For the newbies get, uh, can get the um, figures uh, i mean can can imagine what is like uh, to publish paper so from here the manuscript number my title authorship uh, initial date submitted uh, status date uh, current status date final deposition set and final deposition so from here you can see that um, my first um, submission paper is actually on 11 january 2019 and I managed to get final decision as accepted uh, to be published on 6 August 2019. So this is just the uh, to show you what is the uh, roughly what is the process to to submit paper on the journal website. So uh, let us go to the main the main topic of this uh, this video today because everyone there are few people that um, coming to my messenger coming to my youtube channel and comment to me uh, doctor how did you manage to get away for the apc by the way i'm not a doctor i'm still a student uh, currently doing my studies in white camisha alam 
this is just like a, a little knowledge that I know that I think that is important for you guys to know so that we can reduce uh, the use of the grind on the publication. So as for the width, how did we manage to do this? So from here, when you can see that um, submit a new manuscript, submission sent back to author, incomplete uh, submission and so on so on so i'm not uh, i'm not really i'm not really remember on which step but i think uh, on the first submission uh, they ask you about uh, about the fees and so on so on so in uh, during that time uh, as far as i remember there's uh, one one like one option for us to waive to waive the apc so what what did we do because in my paper last time uh, as you can see here uh, i already put like a lot of funny information which means i have three types uh, i mean not me my supervisor have three types of grant a uh, grant that we used to find in our in our study in this study which is uh, uh for my study so we have like three uh, types of grant uh, we have like racks we have jip and we also have FRGS, which means that we have like a lot, so called a lot of money, but <laughs> somehow um, uh, because we know that uh, most of the grant given, we have like due uh, deadline or due due date for every grant. So in my cases, most of the grant that I receive, especially Rex, uh, 2014, I send the paper on 2019, so finish already. So GIP, GIP 2017. Uh, I send my paper. Uh, GIP usually for one year, I think one year. So I send the paper. I submitted the paper on 2017. Same goes to the FRGS. It is 2015. Then the grant already expired by the time I submitted my paper. So what what did we do when uh, for the APC stages? They are. I think uh, because I cannot I cannot show you exactly how because I need to send new new manuscript to show you the process. But this is the roughly roughly uh, and what I can remember. So during that time for the APC, we try to request for the wave uh, for the wave. So uh, after we click on that option, we my supervisor, which is my corresponding author for this paper she get this kind of email i'm going to um, bring you to my inbox so the date is actually 27 uh, december 2018 uh, uh, for the process before the submission so in here after we send the uh, waivers applications they say uh, the springer nature waivers team uh, which is the publisher for this journal they send uh, us uh, email like this so manuscript title uh, authors manuscript id journal and article type and blah 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 so in here you can see that uh, dear dr abdul muid uh, thank you for your inquiry regarding the article processing charge apc for your bmc complementary and alternative medicine manuscript blah 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 we would be happy to assess your eligibility for a discretion apc waiver so from here, we know that when we request the APC waiver, uh, they are being considered to to at least uh, entertain us what is the right way to get the APC waiver. So uh, in this email, they let, let they let us know what is the uh, apa for uh, what is the requirement to be considered for a discretion APC waiver. So, uh, so they request for the uh, primary documentations of the corresponding author funding status and the remaining grant funds. In here, they want to know whether the money are still there or not there. So, so for each grants that you currently receive or receive while researching uh, your article, please send scanned copies of original documents from your funders containing the details of funding agency, title of grant, name of grantees, allocation of grant funds, and balance of available funds. So, uh, if you are not uh, in receipt of any research funding, please send a scanned copy of 
a letter from your head of department HOD confirm that you are not currently in receipt of any research funding this should be signed and printed on headed paper so so uh, in, in note uh, we only require documentation of funding or lack thereof relating to the research presented in this manuscript so uh, with all this step we try to find the three primary document uh, that have this sort of information funding agency title of the grant and so on so on uh, we try to get the original document which this can be obtained from your bendahari or or uh, HOD or, or anything I just 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 try to get to get the original copy for uh, for this grant uh, primary document so that we can send to the uh, publisher so once I get uh, once I get uh, the primary document for this so I send the email back to uh, my supervisor which is that time uh, Dr. Suhaila she is the corresponding author uh, like this uh, combined FSGS uh, all the information about that grant this one I cannot show because this is might have um, PNC so then what my supervisor did during that time Dr. Suhaila Abdul Mumi uh, she sent back uh, all the primary document that we obtained uh, to Springer Nature so uh, so she just wrote like this with the reference to your previous email I attach you with the primary documentations of the corresponding author funding status for information duration of all of these three grants are finished and we do not have any current grants to fund this project so we need to tell them what is the current situation of our finance which means during that time as I mentioned earlier most of the grant that I received for my study uh, in 2015 2000 2000 oh wait uh, 2000 2015 uh, 2014 and 2017 and are already expired by the by the time that I want to submit my paper so we managed uh, to send all the primary document and, and luckily um, we get reply by the spring natures like this uh, the details of the my paper and the best part Alhamdulillah dear Dr. Suhaila Abdul Mead, thank you for considering BMC complementary and alternative medicine for your manuscript I can confirm that you do not need to pay the article processing charge on this occasion voila Alhamdulillah so uh, I think I was so lucky because uh, I managed to publish on Q1 which is sometimes it can be hard to some other people and the best part I don't have to pay any APC I don't have to pay for the sub uh, submission processing and even the publishing fees and the most important is my my paper is um, being publicly open to readers without any charges so I'm happy with that so just to recap uh, we tried to apply the APC waivers on 27 December 2018 uh, we get all the primary document as soon as possible three days after that I managed to get the primary document for all the grants on 30 December 2018 and on for what January 2019 luckily Alhamdulillah uh, they waive the APC for this paper so I hope uh, uh, yeah actually not uh, on 4th January my, my was sent to the publisher on 7th January they approve for the APC waivers charge so Alhamdulillah we managed to get I'm so happy because we don't have to dump a lot of money to publish the paper uh, Alhamdulillah so and I completed uh, I completed all the process from the submission until uh, publications uh, in more or less 9 to 10 months so I hope uh, or you can understand what I'm trying to say because 
I'm trying I'm trying because I know uh, this is like very important most of us uh, a lack of funding to publish paper so I hope you can try to request for the APC wave charge in any of the journal I believe they are being uh, considered but uh, bear in mind you have to prepare uh, the legit document for them to wave uh, for the APC wave charge so I don't want to talk longer uh, I hope this can help you guys so if you have anything to ask uh, to ask especially student because I'm still a student please uh, comment uh, on my YouTube channel and please share this video if you find this is very very uh, helpful to others so with that I end my uh, video for this time hope to see you guys again assalamualaikum and stay happy bye bye